Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. They say that trouble comes in threes, and so I want to tell you about my three troubles today because they're really simple, but it's something that is a common occurrence that may happen to you, and I thought it might help you. The first thing is I was using micro quilter thread to do my stitch in the ditch, and I realized after having 12 thread breaks in one block that something wasn't just right. It was mechanical. It was not software. So what I did was go back and check my thread path on my machine and realized that I had my machine threaded incorrectly. Once I threaded the machine correctly, and there are videos on YouTube to help you with that, then I didn't have any more problems with my micro quilter thread. So that's the first one. The second one is I did a relocate on these patterns, these block patterns that you see on the screen. And whenever I clicked out my stitch in the ditch, I was looking at the machine head and not at the computer screen. And I thought, well, that doesn't look right. And so I realized that for whatever reason, my relocate did not relocate correctly. I did not want to click out this stitch in the ditch again. So I selected my stitch in the ditch and I converted it to a boundary because boundaries do not relocate. Patterns do. So I selected the pattern, right click, go down to relocate, shift all to one point. And for a second time, I scrolled in really close and I clicked on this little point right here because it is a point that I can duplicate on the quilt. So I did a left click on that point and I said, yes, my machine is at that point. And it ended up like this a second time. And I thought, well, that's just silly. What I want you to pay attention to, I'm gonna select a pattern again and I'm gonna go down to relocate and I'm a left Click on Relocate Shift All to one point. And what I want you to notice is that little pink dot that's on the computer screen right there. What I had neglected to do was turn off my snaps. You see that pink dot move around to different places? That's what it did because my snap was on. And because my end snap was on, Creative Studio is snapping to the end of that pattern. So I'm going to turn the snaps off. I'm going to left click again on the point of that little curl. And I'm going to say yes, that my machine head is in that point. And you can see right there that Creative Studio lined those patterns up exactly where they needed to be. Easy to fix. So now I'm going to select my stitch in the ditch, which is this block right here, and I'm going to convert it back to a pattern because I want to stitch that out. And I forgot one critical thing. I hit the start button, and when it starts stitching, if I select the pattern and I hit the little eye right down here, you're going to see that it stitches out at 12%. The reason that it does that, instead of stitching at one, the way I like for my stitch in the ditch to be, is because when you convert this pattern to a boundary, and then you convert the boundary back to a pattern, Creative Studio is going to adopt the parameters of the project, not what that draw line speed is. I always do my stitch in the ditch first, and then convert it to a boundary to be able to do pattern to boundary or pull my pattern over or whatever. Seldom do I have a boundary that I convert back to a pattern and then stitch the pattern. So that's a really valuable lesson for you to remember and for me to remember the next time I go pattern to boundary and back boundary to pattern because I had a little unsewing to do. Select the pattern, hit the little I, change it to a one, which is what my preferred speed is for stitching the ditch, save and close. You don't have to click it again. You just have to tell Creative Studio, my bad, I need that to change speeds 
and go back down to a manageable stitch in the ditch. So that's my trouble comes in threes little segment. And I hope that helped you and maybe helped you remember that you need to pay attention to what's on the screen and you need to pay attention to the mechanics of your machine and you need to pay attention to the basics of Creative Studio. Thank you.